How wealthy is Nigeria's new president? After experiencing a closely fought contest for its presidency, Nigeria has got a new president to lead its very large economy and inherit its plethora of economic and security crisis. He is the fifth president since the nation's return to democratic rule in 1999. Regarded as a master strategist and king of the long game, he has planned his ascent to the throne for years, building a succession plan in which he used his clout and enormous resources to build leaders and develop political influence from the southwest to the north, and then to the entire nation. And so, after decades of being a political puppet master, he finally emerged president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria from the 2023 presidential elections. He is Bola Ahmed Adekumla Tinubu, and this is a journey around his wealth, so stay tuned if you do not want to miss any detail. Early Life and Education Born on the 29th of March 1952 to Abibadu Mogaji, his mother and Ayaloja of Lagos, Tinugu attended Stutan's primary school in Abidin and later moved to the United States in 1975. There he first studied at Richard J. Daly College in Chicago and then at the Chicago State University, where he graduated in 1979 with a Bachelor of Science degree in Accounting. There have been several scandals surrounding the alleged educational background of Nigeria's new president, Bola Ahmed Adekum of Tinubu. Some have claimed that his educational qualifications were fabricated and that he does not hold a degree from the University of Chicago or any other institution. Others have pointed to discrepancies in his academic records and questioned the authenticity of his certificates. These scandals have led to widespread speculation and criticism with many questioning Tinubu's integrity and fitness to lead Nigeria. Despite these controversies, Tinubu has maintained his innocence and has continued to push forward with his ambitious plans for the country. Early Career With his degree, he worked for the American companies Arthur Anderson, Deloitte and GT Services Corporation, after which he returned to Nigeria in 1983 and joined Mobile Oil Nigeria where he later became a company executive. In 1992, he joined the Social Democratic Party where he was a member of the People's Front faction led by Shihu Musa Yar Adua, and made up of other politicians like Humaru Yar Adua, Adeku Abubakar, Yomi Adu, Rebu Kwankwaso, Magaji Abdullahi, Depo Surumi, and Abdullahi Aliu Sumela. This marked the beginning of his political career not long from then. He was elected Senate, representing the Lagos West constituency in the short-lived Nigerian Third Republic. Bola Tinubu became a founding member of the pro-democracy National Democratic Coalition after the results of the 12th June 1993 presidential elections were annulled. The group mobilized support for the restoration of democracy and recognition of Moshe Daliola as winner of the 12 June election. Tinubu was a protege of Alliance for Democracy leaders Abraham Adesanya and Ayo Adebanjo in the run-up to the 1999 elections. From there, he won the eight premiers for the Lagos state governorship election, defeating Funcha Williams and Wahab Dosemu, an ex-minister of Works and Housing. He went in for the seat of governor of Lagos state on the ad ticket in 1999 and was elected. Governor of Lagos state After assuming the office of governor in May 1999, he made available for the poor multiple housing units in Lagos. He made large investments in education in the state during his eight-year period of being in office, and also in the same period, he reduced the number of schools in the state by returning a number of schools to the already settled former owners. New road construction projects were also initiated in order to meet the needs of the state's fast-growing population. Alongside Femin Pedro, his new deputy governor, Tinubu was re-elected into office as governor in 2003 as all other states in the southwest fell. To the People's Democratic Party in the elections. He went through a controversy with the Aluskan Obasanyo controlled federal government over whether Lagos State had the right to create new local council development areas to meet the needs of its large population. As a result, the federal government seized funds meant for local councils in the state. He also experienced continuous clashes during the latter part of his term in office with PDP powers like Adesayan Gundu and Bo George. After Pedro declared his intentions to run for gubernatorial elections, the relation between himself and Tinubu became tense. Following Pedro's withdrawal of his name as candidate for governor on the eve of the 2007 elections, he moved to the Labour Party while keeping his position as deputy governor. Nevertheless, 
Tinubu's governorship for Lagos State ended on the 29th of May 2007, when he was succeeded by Babatunde Fashola of the Action Congress. As a result of the landslide victory of the People's Democratic Party, Tinubu took part in negotiations to bring together the divided opposition parties into a mega-party with the ability to challenge PDP the ruling party. Alongside other politicians in 2013, he created a mega-opposition party by merging the Action Congress of Nigeria, the Congress for Progressive Change, the All-Nigeria People's Party, a faction of All Progressive Grand Alliance, and the new PDP into the All Progressive Congress. Eventually, he supported General Muham Adubocheri in 2014, who was the then leader of the CPC faction of the APC. Tinugu at some point aspired for the post of Buhari's vice president, but he later conceded for Yemi Osibanjo his ally, marking the first time an incumbent Nigerian president lost to an opposition candidate. Buhari rode the APC to victory in 2015, and since then, Tinugu has played a great role in his administration. He supported government policies and held on to the internal party saddles, in place of his long-held rumored presidential aspiration. He supported Buhari's re-election campaign in 2019, and in 2020, an internal crisis broke out which resulted to the removal of his ally and party chairman Adams Ashimol. Presidential Campaign Slash Presidency Bola Tinubu formally announced his candidacy for president on the 10th of January 2022 and on the 8th of June in the same year. He won the APC party convention vote, scoring 1,271, defeating Vice President Yemi Osinbajo and Rotimi Amechi. Bola Ahmed Adekamo Tinubu was declared winner of the 2023 presidential election on the 1st of March 2023. Now that we know how he journeyed to the seat of president, let's find out how wealthy he is. From being a very popular politician to being the president of Nigeria, Tinubu of course has a lot of wealth. Living a very high-class lifestyle, he has access to every expensive and premium luxury product and service because of his overwhelming net worth. He currently has an alleged net worth of $4.5 billion. Not surprising for someone who as governor received a monthly salary of 11.6 million naira. Being the owner of many major companies in Nigeria, Tinubu is the country's richest politician. Alongside having overwhelming control over many big institutions, he owns the Orient All Hotel of Lagos State. Tinubu's net worth is majorly sourced from running an oil-producing company, television and radio telecasting companies, amusement parks, newspapers, shopping malls, and many others. There are unsubstantiated rumors that Tinubu was born with a different name to a different modern-day Osun state family, while disputes over his age, educational qualifications and name have come up throughout his political career as a result of conflicting documents and statements from him. Ahead of running for governor in 1999, the documents he submitted falsely stated that he attended Government College Abaddon for secondary school and Chicago State University records, that his birth year is 1954, not 1952. After claiming that the 1999 submission was accidentally falsified by the then-senator, Tokunbo Afakiyomi, the controversy was reignited in 2022, when the documentation he submitted to INEC for presidential election revealed that his primary school and secondary school were not stated in contradiction to previous sworn forms in public statement. However, none of these have stopped him from being president. From popular investigations, President Tinubu has more than 30 cars among which are armored and modified Range Rover SUVs with bullet features, bomb-proof features, and other defensive features, modified and highly luxurious cars of the Jeep family and Toyota Prado SUVs. He also owns a Bombardier Global 6000 Express Jet, which cost $80 million. The presidential office will of course bring him more fortune, and so in the nearest future, his wealth would be grown past these figures mentioned in this video. If you enjoyed watching this video, please do not forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe and become a member of our growing diverse community here on Think Rich Africa. Thanks for watching and see you in another interesting video.